1800 pound bid now then at 1800 at 1800 pounds on bid now then imagine camping on a sunny day at 1800 couldn't think of anything worse hi there welcome back to the car uk channel today we're gonna have a quick look at another auction reaction video so this is the latest sale hot off the press just literally in the last couple of days from the angular car auctions we did a coverage of one of those videos last week and actually you guys come back and said you actually quite enjoyed it so i thought i'd do another one because they haven't got another sale now coming for a few months so don't worry i'm not about to bombard you with these types of videos but just say just ironic there was another sale just happened so i thought i'd do a quick reaction video to those cars going through now those if you interested the angular car auctions run a you know, classic car auction every few months you can check out their website in the link description they have lots of interesting vehicles and it's well worth a visit so anyway let's get straight into it and have a reaction to some of the vehicles going through uh, this weekend sale in august right let's kick off uh, this auction video i've just got a bit random on this one first thing that's caught my eye won't be an auction about a mini in it obviously would it i've seen this little 1992 rover mini Mini Mayfair, this one, 1992, is MOT. June 25, good low MOT. Runs okay, boot packs in the office. Where do you want to be with this one? Uh, 26, take twos, 28. Three bid, 3,000 pound the bid. That 3,000 pound is in the room at three bid. That 3,000, I'll take twos on this. That 3,000, that looks nice for 3,000 pound. That 3,000 pound, I'll take two anywhere. That 3,000. It doesn't look terribly molested that to be fair it's got a few little mods on it and stuff but uh, it's not terrible by any means rover mini as well i, I, I like the min rover minis later on so obviously the different guys is obviously started off as bmc and austin mini and they kept changing the names this point is just where they started to use the rover name in the 90s again uh, and um yeah the last of this generation so the ones from sort of 98 to 2000 before they changed over to the new mini um, that those ones with all the kit on and stuff, oh, they look absolutely superb. We just can't uh, not love a mini. And this one doesn't look too bad. Where? At three thousand pound. Come on, wave if I can't see you. At three thousand pound. At three thousand pound the bin. At three one. I don't mind. At thirty one. At thirty one. Whatever's the matter with that? It does seem to be struggling. At thirty one hundred, it looks for nothing from where I stand. At thirty-one hundred pound, at thirty-one I'm bid, at thirty-one, at thirty-one I'm bid. I'm going to submit the bid at thirty-one. All done with the mini once, thirty-one hundred twice, third and final time with the mini, gentlemen. You're all going to miss this. No, I'll give you plenty of time on the net. Thought that would do more. To be honest, I thought it would certainly make the, the lower end of its estimate. But uh, no, I will be uh, interested in that. Unless obviously you get close to it and the paintwork's not quite right. And obviously that could have an effect on it or maybe underneath it's a mini at the end of the day they do rot minis would you believe it uh, so yeah it did, did seem cheap to me let's move on anyway right i've just first spotted this in the corner of my eye coming in now i'm going to look at some older cars in a minute i'm not just going to try and keep it to all 90s cars but um yeah this is a strange one you didn't expect to see one of these in a classic auction not saying they're not classic but just not something you would expect to see in a classic auction a little bit different Lot number 160 shown there is the Peugeot 306 S Cabriolet. First registered 2000. It's MOT'd until November this year, showing 62,000 miles. Runs and drives okay. It's got the ABS light on, good honest fender there. It's manual hood, not electric. It's got the spare key in the office. Where are we going to go with this one? I've got to go straight in, 1,200 pounds. So Peugeot 306 convertible first car I had actually owned was a 306 I owned myself I had a diesel one but this is a the petrol one I can't remember the 1.6 and 2 litre petrols they did with they might have used the 1.8 because they also did a 1.8 petrol in the 306 got a couple of those as well manual roof yes it's a classic now by sort of age standards and you didn't see many of them um they remind me of, without boring you they remind me of a um, when I'm based in crew was growing up there used to be a local footballer anyone who's from crew or anyone who was a Torquay fan Remember a player called Rodney Jack with a striker, a very good striker actually for low league teams. Uh, and he used to have a brand new one of these in yellow going round our town as we were kids, and we'd seen in this brand new 306 convertible. Looking the dog's bollocks in it. So that was the first time I ever saw one of these properly. But the 306 convertibles they didn't sell that many of them, so it's rare you see them in the auction. So it is an interesting thing to see. Let's see what it does. Right, 
At 1,200 pounds on bid now, then at 1,200 bid. At 1,200 pounds now, nice little Peugeot 306S there. At 1,200, at 1,200 pound on bid now, then at 12, 13, 14 with me internet on commissions. At 1,400 pound on bid there now, then at 1,400. At 1,400 pound on bid now, then at 1,400, 15, 1,600, we're on sale. At £1,600 on bid here now, then on commissions at £1,600. At £1,600, look for 17 do I see? But at £1,600... We're Probably putting people off, got ABS light off. Uh, on, sorry, I mean not off. Uh, he's on it. Um, we has got 306, these late ones. Look at that Meridian interior they used to put in them. We're on sale on commissions here at £1,600. At £1,600 on bid now, then looking for 17 quick if you're coming anywhere. But it's at £1,600, it is now going once. £1,600, you're sure we're all gone done twice. Last time, my commission takes it at £1,600, it is last time. 16 it is, thank you. Do you know, that ain't bad for one of those, because could I see that potentially going up in value over the years? Yeah, I think you think you could. I prefer it not be green. I think it'd be better if it was like silver or something like that, to be fair. But they're not bad, and, and to be fair, if you're going to keep one of those as a classic, the good thing about those Peugeots, those 90s, they don't rot. The materials they're using were really good and quite thin, the metals, used to dent easily, but they weren't rock boxes, those 306s. So that is definitely one that you could potentially put away and make a little bit of money on and use and enjoy and, you know, potentially make a profit on in the years to come. Uh, but, yeah, uh, interesting. Right, anyway, let's find something older. Right, seeing this straight away, this is a beautiful, beautiful car. Then we go on to the Triumph, the GT6, lot 168 there. First registered 1972 there. Owner saves it, drives okay this one. So there we go, nice bit of fun. They are a well designed car, aren't they, the GT6? Where are we going to go with this one? I've got to go straight in. 5002. And I'll take twos, please, at 52. I love the Triumph GT6. What a car. Some people call them the poor man's jack. Whether that's a, a appropriate name for him, I'll let you decide. But the body of it, and the way the body comes up, and all the exposure of it, of everything, and you can see all the suspension. Oh, what a car! Superb, superb thing. I did love Triumphs of this era, the late sixties, early seventies, uh, up until like the Stag, really. Um, but uh, just looking at this one, seventy-nine grand seems a bit cheap. If I'm honest with you, I can't really tell in this light. But the paintwork, it looks okay, as in the colour. It just doesn't look perfect it looks like the chrome's a bit worn and the paint looks worn i say it's not the same as being there but it looks like a car that probably wants quite a bit of money for an it to make it look proper again at five two i'll take twos please h at five two looking four quick anywhere five four at five four on bid now then at five four at five four on bid there now then at five thousand four hundred at five thousand four hundred on bid now then at five four at five thousand four hundred pound on bid now then at five four looking for six quick anywhere but it's at five four at five thousand four i'll take five h at five four on bid really struggle and get bids on this at £5,400 on bid now then at 5 4 A lot of car for the money at 5 4 Internet, I can see you hovering. 5 5 At 5 5 At £5,500. We're a long way off, but I'll take it provisionally at £5,500. At £5,500. It's with you, Internet, at 5 5. Very provisional going once. At 5 5 for the GT6 provisionally twice. Last time you show you're going down at 5 5 provisional. Internet, that's with you provisionally. Well, I'm shocked at that, to be honest. I mean, I, I expected to do a bit more than that. Even a rough one, I've seen do more money than that. Maybe that's a sign of things to come today. Let's see what else is coming in. Lot 169 now, the Jaguar, Jaguar the Mark II 3.8. Manual overdrive, this one. UK registered this year. Euro manufacturer, 1964 there. It's got the full stainless steel exhaust. Full so Mark II uh, Jaguar. Anyone who's uh, seen Inspector Morse would recognise this car. car. Uh, one thing the Jaguar Mark II, if it was famous for, I think, if I, I'll be corrected if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was the first car to have Dunlop brakes all round, as in Dunlop disc brakes. 
I'm so sure some of them used to have the word Dunlop Brakes Fit on the back. I think it was only on certain models, but I could, I'm sure I remember that one. But anyway, this one, uh, Mark II Jag, looks a bit flat on the paint. Uh, like I said, it's not the same as being there, but as first impressions, it's a lovely car. Mark II Jags are lovely cars, but it just looks a bit, hmm, it's a project car. Car rebuild last year. It's good oil pressure, brakes. Heritage certificate. And I'm straight in online at £4,800. This Mark II Jaguar there at £4,800 on bid now, then at four eight. At £4,800 on bid now, good elegant cars, these at four eight. At £4,800 on bid here now, then at four eight. Looking for nine quick anywhere, but it's at £4,800. At £4,800 on bid there now, then at four eight. Looking for nine quick anywhere, but it's at four eight. At 4849, at 4.9, I'm bid there now, then at 4,009. £5,000 bid, thank you, at 5,000. At 5,000, I'm bid now, 51, 52. At 5,200, pound, I'm bid 53. At 5354, at 5,400 pound, I'm bid now, then at 5455. At 5556, at 5,000. Slowly going up, but it's not, you know, it's, there's not much to it. It's, it's really slow and. The bidding on this. 57, at 5758, at 5859, £6,000 bid. At £6,000 on bid now, then at 6000 looking for one quick anywhere, but it's at £6,000 bid. At £6,000 on bid now, then at 6000 looking for one quick anywhere, but it's at £6,000 it is now going once. £6,000 it is going twice, you sure? It's all gone and done at £6,000. Ladies and gents, that won't be buying that today, I'm afraid. It needs to be a little bit more money. Go and have a look round it. That is a nice car for that sort of money. So, uh, yeah, no no sale on that one. So we're not going to start, really, uh, on these uh, last three we watched. Let's see what uh, next comes in. Lot 170 showing there is the Ford Fiesta, a little 1.2 gear. First range of 2001 there. It's had the same lady owner up to one year old. Driven to the sale, 100 miles there. It's a main dealer park, part exchange. It's so, just wasn't expecting that. 2001 Ford Fiesta 1.2 gear. I know these very, very well because I bought and sold many of them. I cut my teeth into these when I first started out and did for many years afterwards. Very, very good car, uh, this, this Fiesta from this shape. It ran from, I can't remember what market it is. It ran anyway from 1996 up to 2002. Uh, and um, the started off with uh, 1.2 petrol. This engine actually was made its debut. 1.2 Yamaha designed inspired engine. There's a debate about that one, uh, but uh, none of the less. It was 1.2 ZTEC. We also had the 1.3 engine, which was brought over from the previous model. Um, we used to call it like the rocker engine, over a valve engine, a little tappity thing, but they're quite reliable. Uh, and then they did other ones as well. 1.4 petrol, another ZTEC version, and a diesel. And they did a 1.6 as well, which sometimes was in the gear form. You used to get 1.6s in the gear. But it's a uh, nice cars. And um, rare you see any of these now. They are slowly fading away, uh, cause mainly because of rotten stuff and now the back axles used to go. But this is a really, really nice example. Uh, it's interesting to see what it does. No reserve. A warranted 37,000 miles. Telephone bid on this one. It's here to sell. And I'm straight in at a thousand pounds at one thousand pound on bid now looking for 1100 anywhere but it's a thousand pound bid at one thousand pound 1100 at 1100 1200 at 1200 pound on bid here now then a 1200 pound bid 1300 at 1300 now front takes it at 1300 at 1300 14 if you come in net but it's a 1300 pound bid at 1300 pound on bid there now then a 1300 looking 14 quick anywhere but it's at 1300 a warranted 37,000 miles 1400 at 1400 pound on bid there now then at 1450 do you want gents at 1400 pound on bid here now then at 1400 at 1400 pound on bid there now looking 15 quick anywhere but it's at 1400 pound that is now going once 14 1500 thank you net at 1500 pound on bid here now then at 1500 pound bid at 1500 it is now don't wait till the last minute don't be a bridesmaid internet at 1500 it is at 1500 pound on bid there now it is once twice out the door it drives and selling out right at 1500 that's yours 1500 1500 pounds um i don't think that's bad really for one of those i mean how clean it was and low mileage i suppose really if you're going to use that you want to cut your teeth into a classic and you want to get something you know just to maybe you can use and 
and go to work in or, or, or views on a, on a sunny day. It's not bad really, is it, to, to cut your teeth in for one of those old Fiestas. And generally Fords go up if you look after them. Just got to maintain them. A friend of mine's got one of those uh, on a, I think it's an error of P-Reg he keeps in his showroom. And it's done about 5,000 miles genuine. It is absolutely pristine, pristine thing. And I keep telling him he needs to uh, get it in a car auction, in a classic auction one day. But that must be worth, that genuinely is worth thousands. It's, it's, it's just like brand new, come out of the factory. Anyway, let's see what this uh, Alpha does. Lot 171 it is showing there is the Alfa Romeo there, the GTV Phase 2. It's got an MOT until May next year there. Stated is running and driving well, stainless steel exhaust. It's got the Teledars 17 inch alloy wheels there. And the previous owner says it's been a joy to own. There we go, we're straight in here. Showing just 98 and a half thousand miles and we're straight in at 2,000 pounds. At 2,000 pound on bid now then at 2,000 pound bid. And what colour to have an alpha than in red? 2-1. At 2-1 on bid now then at 2-1, 2-1. At 2-1 looking for too quick anywhere but at 2,100 pound bid. At 2,100 pound on bid now then a lot of car for the money. I'm quite surprised this isn't doing better. Uh, maybe the colour red, it's lovely colour to see it in red but it's a bugger to try and maintain. 3 litre V6, 24 valve, Alfa Romeo GTV, hard top GTV, convertible was called the Spider, same vehicle pretty much. If you're going to buy one, you want one with a 3 litre V6. The other versions were the twin spark versions, but I would want the 3 litre V6. That is a lovely, lovely car. Personally, I don't want it in red. I know it's probably the colour for it. I want it in a silver or a grey, to be honest, or a blue, personally. But it seems to be struggling. But what a car this is. And in my view, these should be a car that's going to be going up a lot in value, I think, over the next few years. That's just my view. At 2-1, two, 2-2. Two, two. At 2,200 bid. At 2-2, two, two, I'm bid now, looking for three quick anywhere, but it's at 2-2. Two, two. At 2,200 pound, I'm bid here now, then at 2,002. Two. At 2,200 pound, I'm bid here now, looking for three quick anywhere, but it's at 2,200 pound, it is here going once. At 2,200 pound, it is now going twice. Sure you're all going to done it is provisional. 2-3, at 2-3, at £2,300, it's in the room internet, you're out at 2003 at 2-3, I'm bit there now, then at 2-3, still provisional going once, 2-3 twice, last time at 2-3, that's provisional with you sir, 1338, thank you. Provisional, again, not many buyers here today are there? Right, moving on, before I dive into some more older stuff, just spotted this come in. Uh, very shocked this is in a classic auction. I didn't think there's any of these left. Lot 174 now is the Ford Scorpio Ultima there. Auto, this one, first range of 2001. So briefly, it's a Ford Scorpio. Um, probably, or arguably, one of the ugliest cars ever made. And certainly one of the Ford's ugliest cars they've ever made. Now, the older Scorpio, Granada Scorpios, as we probably know them by, they were fantastic. I did like the old Granada. Um, but this was a disaster. Particularly when it came out after the Mondeo, and um, yeah, it just never lived up to the, you know, what the Granada was. It just, it just missed the ball completely, and it was, you know, taken off the market very quickly. A really competitor against that was the Amiga, which was a far better car than that. Anyway, let's see what it does. And by the way, also, I forgot to mention this because I offered one once. They even did a Cosworth version of that, and it still no one wanted it. It's MOT until July next year. It was off the road for many years. But it's here now, it's got the uh, 24 valve Cosworth developed engine in it. It's a rear engine now, where are we going to go with this one then? I'm straight in. 2-1. Two, one. Two, one. At 2-1 two, on one, bid now then at 2,001, looking for too quick anywhere, but it's at 2-1. At 2,100 pound on bid now then at 2-1, looking for 2 do I see, but it's at 2,100 pound bid. At 2-1 on bid now then, looking for 2-2 two, two quick anywhere, but it's at 2-1, two, 2-2. Two, two. At 2-2 two, two on bid now, back of the room, it's at 2-2. Two, two. At 2,002, two, 2-3. Two, at 2-3. Two, at 2,003, 4 do you want? At 2-3 on bid there now then at 2,003. I'll admit, it's lovely inside. They were, they were nice inside, and the, and the chairs and everything on them, the, the seats were so plush and lovely. It's just the exterior. At £2,300, I'm bid now, 4 do you want? At 2 3. At 2 3. 
at £2,300. Don't ask permission, it'll never work. 2 4 at 2 4 on bid there now. <laughs> at 2 4 at 2 4 on bid now. It is provisional at £2,400 on bid. At 2 4 on bid there now. Looking five quick anywhere. It is provisional at £2,400. It is once, twice out the door then at 2 4. Provisionally with you, sir. What's the number, please? Oh, £2,400 for that, honestly. Wow. Um, I'd rather take my chances with the Alpha than have that. Right, just bought another couple of cars. Actually, there's an Austin 10 behind him, which I'm really interested in. But before that, an Escort van. We saw an Escort van in the last uh, reaction video we did. Let's see what this one does. This is a slightly, well, very early of the mark. One nine six, gentlemen. The Escort van. Uh, this one registered nineteen ninety one. Uh, MOT. Good long MOT till June twenty five. Good long MOT on there. Had new timing chain recently fitted, so it's obviously a petrol. That one. Have a Beautiful. So a Ford Escort van, J Reg, uh, and he started on this shape on H plate in the UK. So H all the way up to. N reg, well, they, this is the first generation, so they changed, they faced them again on K and L, and then they changed completely to the, the later shape mark. Is it not six that have been then? In 1996. I think that's what the last we saw, the last one was around there. So this is an earlier shape. It's practically the same van, but it's a bit earlier. But it's rare you see one with a 1 3 petrol engine in, because most of them are 1A diesels. This is in the early stages of, as well, they changed the diesel engine from, I think it was 1 6 originally, the Escort diesel and then it went to 1A. So people were still in the 80s, early 90s, there were still some petrol ones flying around, but I've never uh, I've never bought one with a 1.3 petrol engine in. It would be really interesting. Like I said, this is the first, really, the year of this run. But look at it. We're straight in. £2,000 each here to sell. At 2000 bit. At £2,000. Only bit at £2,000. He knocked you all out. At £2,000. But the Escort van, they normally make double this. At 2.1, 2.2. 22 I'm bid at £2,200 for the van at 2 2 the bid. At 2 2. At £2,200. At 23 24 bid at 2 4. At £2,400. Come on, gentlemen, wake up, please. At 24. At 24 is no money at all, is it? At £2,400, I'll take 25 anywhere. At 2400 At 24 the bid, I'll take 2 5. At 2400 I have to say, other than the um, near side rear res lamp that's hanging out, it's a really clean van. Absolutely, for nothing, and selling away 25 26. That 2,600 pounds for the van at 26 bid. On sale and going out the door once. 2,600 pounds, be quick on the buttons. That 2,600 pounds, he done twice. Third and final time, Yemen looks cheap enough. That 26, sold 26, internet. Didn't think that was a dear van, sold as well. See what this does now. This is an Austin 10. Right, someone give a hand to put a drove into there, all right, isn't it? It drove in, but she needs a bit of a push now. Here's the thing I've got a description here. It says it runs and drives. <laughs> it didn't say how far it would. 197 German, the Austin 10. Have a look at it. 1947, it runs and drives. But it's got poor brakes, so it's a good job. You was only pushed in there. Well, he's got it going again. Uh, now, I'm not going to say I know lots about the Austin 10. I've seen a few of them at shows and stuff. Um, he said he's pretty much they restarted these after the war, uh, these Austin 10s. Um, yeah, you'd be surprised how little these things are worth. Even restored, they're not worth a great deal of money. But uh, they are very interesting cars. Have a look round it. Poor brakes, apparently. Where do you want to leave in this one? Come on, you tell me. I don't mind. Five hundred pound. It's a bid. That's for only just, isn't it? Six, seven, eight. The bid. Eight hundred pound. Only bid at eight. I'm bid. Eight hundred pound. The bid for the Austin Ten. Nine. The bid is on the net. And nine hundred bid. That nine. Longer than a museum. Nine hundred. Only bid at nine hundred pounds. That nine. A thousand pounds over the back now. A thousand pound is in the room. Eleven the bid back on the net. At eleven hundred pound. At eleven nine bid. At eleven hundred twelve bid. At twelve hundred pound in the room. At twelve thirteen bid is on the net. Thirteen hundred. You want fourteen at the back? 
at 1300 yes 14 the bit it's right over the back of the room at 1400 uh, this could settle at 1400 pound at 14 the bid at 1400 pound come on it's worth a bit more at 1400 at 1400 at 1400 pound you all done it's over the back of the room very very close i'm going to go then provisionally at 15 on now at 1500 you're buying it 16 bid over the back 1600 pound 1600 pound over the back of the room at 1600 at 1600 pound over the back and selling away once be quick on the buttons if you come in twice Third and last, 1600 is your serve. We have a number. 1600 quid. It's sold. It's sold. Uh, that's good news. Uh, Base savers a um, fair few hours of work needed in that. Right, a couple of vehicles I've seen. Uh, start off with this one, another car that I really, really like. Uh, a beautiful Rover. Let's take it here to go. That £3,500. Any more for any more? At 3006 At 36 only bid at 36 a bid. At 36 I sell it away then at 36 37 37 so quickly it's a rover p5b 3.5 coupe um does need a little bit of work on it as we can see here uh, but one of these looking well what a proper car this is when rover was really at its its peak in the 60s um when it started making stuff like the sp5b the p6 unbelievable cars for the era at 37, at 37 I'm bid, at 37 the bid, I'll take 38 now. At 37, you all done or sure? At 38, at 38 the bid, at 38. We're back on the net at 38, last bit of be quick on your buttons. At 38 for the Coupe Rover. At 38, 100 pound, I'll take 39 anywhere, at 38 the bid. At 38 the bid, gentlemen, you all done or sure? 39, at 39 the bid, at 39, I'll take four for it. At 3,900 pounds, at 39, it's on sale and going. Be quick if you come in. Coupe Rovers, 4,000, 4,000 pounds, 4,000 pounds the bid. At 4,000, at 4,000 bid, Germany all done. At 4,000 pounds, I'll take 100 on it. At 4,000 pounds, is it 100 before it goes? At 4,000 pounds, you're all done, all sure. Sell it away once. Be quick on the button if you start. Be quick if you come in. At 4,000 twice. He's got a broken grill. Third and last time, £4,000 sold on the internet. Two, 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 Gemini, the sub, and 9,000 CSI. This one registered 1997. Listen carefully, it's MOT to April 25. Good long MOT on that. Saab 9000 Turbo. Uh, I actually had one of these uh, very briefly uh, for a few months and I loved it. I think mine was a 2 litre petrol low pressure turbo one. This has got no reserve. It'll be interesting to see what this does. I don't think it's going to do a lot, to be honest. There's not, of all the old Saabs, which I've owned quite a few actually, the 9000s, I'm not really up there. One that's going to be going up massively in the classic market. You want your nice old 900, really. Uh, but the one I had, I loved it to pieces. Uh, we had it for a few months, and then someone, some absolute bastard, ran into it at um, uh, Trafford Centre. I parked it up, and someone ran into it and left me a 10 digit phone number um, basically means they just buggered off and pretended they'd uh, left the details uh, and that was it, I just basically got rid of it, I just put it in the auction, got rid of it, I was running at the time it was a shame because I loved it, absolutely loved that car, it just luxurious to drive let's see what this does it's had five owners only from you, the same family since 2008 with six service stamps in the book I'm straight in at £300, my word above, a cheap sale 400 bid, 400 only bid at 4 bid, 400 pound. At 400, 500 bid, I've got for that in the room, I, it was just before you. At 500 pounds, in the room at 500, six bids on the net, 600 bid. Thanks for having that's 600. That's 600 pound on the internet. At 600 pound, that's six time bid. That's 600 pound, I'll take seven anywhere. Well, what's the matter with that? Yes, it's MOT, April next year. Rare car now, aren't they? The 9,000 CSI at 600 pound. At 600 pound. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to sell it. At 600 pound, it's got to go. At 600 pound, make no mistake, 600 pound, it's here to sell. Got to be the cheapest car to sell. At 600 pound, I'll take seven anywhere. At 600 pound, wave of 20 pound note if I don't see you. At 600 pound, I sell it away once, giving it away twice. Third and final time it's going. 600 sold. 600, some will enjoy it. Right, last few cars, uh, number one I've just spotted, another interesting vehicle. 
Not 241 showing there is a Toyota, the MR2 there, Mark 1, first registered 1990, MOT'd until October this year. It's the 25th limited edition model, this one. It's had recent rear brakes, got good service history, two sets of keys, telephone bid on this one. I'm still straight in, £3,000 bid. At £3,000 on bid now, then at £3,000, three, one, three, two, three, three. Not with you, Net, I'm in the room at 3 3. At 3,300, 3 4, 3 5. At 3,005, 3 6, 3 7. At 3 7, I'm bid now, then 3 8 online. At 3,800. What a lovely car these were. Mark 1, uh, MR2. In fact, even the Mark 2 was a nice car. But this, when it came on the scene in the mid 80s, wow. I mean, bear in mind, we'd lost the MG, it had gone out in the early 80s. There was a bit of a gap, really. There was no real sort of sporty gun. Um, hard top sport cars and stuff like that around uh, and then the, obviously the MX-5 came along and the Toyota MR2 and these were superb little things I actually tried buying one of these once um, from a, a classic auction, sorry not a classic auction, a classic car show at Tatton Park it was only up for like 400 quid, bit high mileage and at the time I wanted to buy it because I wanted to put it into my own auction I was running at the time because I thought it would be really interesting and I did the deal with the bloke and bought it at the show and then when I went to fill the log book in and put the yellow slip to put it into trade as soon as he realised I was a trader, he was just literally just said, "You're not having it. You're not having it." And I sort of said, "No, no, I'm, I'm you know, I'm going to put it in an auction, blah blah." blah. He's like, "No, you're not having it. I'm selling it to another enthusiast," which is fair enough. But that was my closest point I've ever got to owning one of these. Anyway, let's see what this one does. I'm bid at three eight. I'm bid here now. Then five. Four thousand pound bid. Four thousand pound unbid there now. Then at four thousand four one. At four one unbid here now. Then at four one online. At four one four two. At four thousand two four three. At four three unbid there now. Then at four thousand three. At four three unbid there. Four thousand five hundred. At four thousand five hundred pound unbid four six. Straight back at you on online. They're not scared. At four six unbid here now. Then at four six. Four seven at four thousand seven hundred there now four eight at four eight hundred now then four eight at four eight fill it up L's at four eight hundred at four eight hundred here five thousand yes five thousand pound hundred on the telephone five one we're on sale at it's on sale also worth noting as well on G plate one of the last ones as well because I'm pretty sure the Mark II came out nineteen ninety one somewhere around there. 5-1 on bid here now, then at 5-1. At 5-1 on bid there now, then at 5-1. Find a cleaner one. At 5-1 on bid. At 5,001. At 5-1, 5-2. At 5-2 on bid, 5-3. At 5-3, I think they're struggling into that. At 5-3 on bid now, then at 5-3. At 5-3 on bid now, then 4 do I see. At 5,300, 5-4. At 5-4, 5-5. Five, five. At 5-5 on bid, it's straight back at you here online at 5,500. At 5-5 five, five on bid, 5-6. Five, at 5,006, 5-7. Five, at 5-7, I'm bid now, then at 5-7. Works every time, doing it at the pop-up headline. At 5,700 pound, I'm bid here now, then at 5-7-8, do I see? But it's at 5,700 pound, 5-8. Five, at 5-8, five, I'm bid there now, then at 5-8. At 5,800 pound, I'm bid now, then at 5-8. At 5-8, at 5-8, come on internet, you've been with me all this time. At 5,008, don't let the telephone have it all his way. At 5,800 pound, it is now going once. 5,800 pounds going twice. You sure, internet? Last time it is then at 5,800 pounds on the telephone, selling out right. Yours it is. Thank you, both bidders. We squeeze every penny out of that. Lot 442 now is the Vauxhall Nova. The Lux. It was a Category C back in 2014, but some of these classics could uh, all be categories, couldn't they? They've all had restoration done. Like that, there's an explanation for a Cat C Nova. Um, J Reg, so I think the Nova finished on K. Uh, yeah, K Reg, I think the last year the Nova was. Five door one, which is a shame. It's not a shame in the fact that the fact that it's five doors is probably why it's still about, because it's a, because it is a five door. Most of the three door ones have been bought by the youth and been converted and put all sorts of daft engines in them, which is a real shame really. But the five door ones they don't touch because they never really wanted to can put a red top in a, a three door one. So it's interesting to see what it does, but Novas have got a really good following, uh, and uh, it's a well liked. And I'd even go as far to say, actually, I argue, argue that the Vauxhall Nova was a better car than the Vauxhall Corsa B. 
personally, in my view, but others will probably disagree. Let's uh, see what this one does. It's MOT'd until October this year, just 49,000 miles for owners. But there we go, it's still a survivor. Where are we gonna go? Thousand pound on bid. Oh, one thousand pound on bid for this one now, then a thousand pound bid. Oh, one thousand pound on bid now, looking for eleven hundred anywhere, eleven hundred pound, twelve hundred. At twelve hundred pound on bid there for the Nova at twelve hundred. At twelve hundred pound on bid there now, then at twelve hundred. Cheap little Nova this. At twelve hundred pound on bid. At twelve hundred pound on bid now, then looking for thirteen quick anywhere, but at twelve hundred pound it is now going once. Twelve hundred pound it is going twice. Be sure you're all gone and done. Nice little over this. So £1,200 it is for the last time. Ladies and gents, that's not going to be enough at £1,200. Come and have a look at it. I guarantee you that was a free door. I would have done two or three thousand quid. Lot 243 showing there. There's a Volkswagen, the T4 Caravelle. First registered in 1996. It's MOT'd until July next year. Good solid one, this one showing 214,000 miles. Sign of a good bus, this. Drove 78 miles here to the auction. Runs and drives well. It's got the rock and roll beds, two keys. Where are we going to go with this one? Always do bloody fortunes, these things. £1,500 on bid for a low star now, then a £1,500 bid. At £1,500 on bid now, then a £1,500. Looking for £1,600 quick anywhere, £1,600, £1,700. At £1,700, £1,800 bid now, then at £1,800. At £1,800 on bid now, then at £1,800 for the T4 Caravelle at £1,800. At £1,800 on bid, find a cheaper one. Floors it in the eyes. At £1,800 bid. At £1,800 on bid there now, then at £1,800. Gotta be 19 quick if you're coming, but at £1,800. At £1,800 on bid now, then imagine camping on a sunny day. At £1,800. Couldn't think of anything worse. Burn on bid now, then at £1,800. Looking at 19 quick anywhere, but at £1,800 that is now going once. £1,800 that is now going twice. Last time, you're sure, at £1,800. Was very scruffy, in fairness to it. Uh, but there's a running joke uh, we have in the trade and a few traders say that if you want a transport to go up in value open the back doors throw a mattress in it and take it to camp but it'll double in price right quick reaction to what we've just seen in that video uh, again i thought the prices were rather cheap uh, we saw that in the last video we did the other week uh, and they said prices do seem to be shocking me uh, a bit there uh, i also saw some minis as well i did call one in this video but there was a few of us i saw as well which didn't quite make the cut uh, which will be really interesting in buying. I am going to go to the next sale, hopefully, that is in November, and do a proper coverage there, go and film, and hopefully try and buy a vehicle. Hopefully not too many. I try not to buy too many, because that could be a problem, because it's in King's Lynn, and it's very far away. But one would do just nicely. So anyway, we're definitely going to do that as a proper video uh, in the next Angler sale in November. And if anyone's interested in going there, I'll say that all the details are in the link description. It's a fantastic place to go to. Somewhere you definitely need to visit. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one. Let me know your thoughts and comments about what you saw in that video. Is there anything there that stood out to you you were interested in? Let me know uh, your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'll see you all very soon.